is all that we're getting at here. Agreed. Panky, because Panky. robots can do everything better than Panky, humans. Panky is the best player in the world. Yes. So KDH three out Stango. Luigi Goshard is getting 33rd or above at this tournament. Bones DQ'd. Crazy. Uh, scroll down a little bit. Mop. Ken beat Fable. Red beat Brad. Scroll up a little bit. Vu beat Ken. Kind of That's surprised. crazy. That's yeah. kind of surprising to me. Scroll up a little bit. I think SE beat KJH also. SE beat KJH yeah. winners, yeah. Lunar Dusk, 3-1, no fluxes. The run's still alive. Chudat versus Bobby. I don't know if we have results for that yet. I don't think they've ever played. Oh, really? Ahmad throwing Prometheus. Zane, we might Dawson get Zane none Wait. in losers. Zane versus none in losers. <laughs> in for losers like, round three for like 17th, right? I think it's like 25th. Oh, is it is really? It? Holy crap! That's 30. That's 49th. That's 30th. That's 25th. Yeah. Z one of Zane or none is getting 20. 25th. Unless, um, unless Ahmad. Ahmad could. Ahmad I, was playing really good. I had good. pools matches of his uh, He's one yesterday. He's the Doran's students. Yeah. Oh, are they playing? Oh my! Oh, they're playing! They're already playing! They're ah. playing! Okay. It's fine. Nothing really happened, right? It's Marth Beach. <laughs> All right. Well, it's game one either way. So Law takes first stock there. And just took off his headphones, too. So we have seen a lot of Law versus Marth. He has multiple sets versus Kadoran. He has a set win on Zane and multiple sets for Zane. He has a very what's the word? What's the term for it? Very focused play style. Yes. He he goes for certain types of like he tries to check the airspace that Marth is floating into whenever he's trying to drift in, and will try to face away from it and go for a back air against it. So I uh, have interviewed pretty extensively with Lod about his perspective on Peach as a character. Mm -hmm. um, what I find very, very cool about his playstyle, especially with the win he had over Zane, uh, was that he tells me that he likes to use turnups kind of like as a as like a budget Hadouken or a Hadouken or whatever, um, where it forces jumps out of Marth. And then it's exactly what you said, right? You can test the airspace after. You can get like really, really profitable trades off of uh, just Marth being in the air and just not being as good as Peach finding big damage like those subfloat up airs that we just saw out of Laud. So really, really good stuff. Keep an eye out for Laud in particular, playing the ground game, forcing specifically jumps out of Krike in this matchup. Surgical precision, as they say. There it is Calling again. out the tournament winner with the neutral air. And he's just keeping Crank in the sky, and a crazy double jab is going to deal more percent, but Crank makes it back to stage. Just evading that grab perfectly. Nice. And another Nair will just seal it, and Lot is up three stocks to one. Okay, Crike with an opportunity right now, but playing a deficit for sure. Big up tilt is gonna get the stock, but a full stock lead over to Lot. Where do you stand in in the the Marth Peach matchup? Like, who do you think wins? Because I feel like this this has been kind of a contested topic as years have gone by. Like when so, we used to have Armada M2K as this matchup. Hip squeak. Made it oh, he's dead. Oh my god, that was. Okay, that'll do it. Yeah, just pull a stitch. Um, Hip squeak made a tweet earlier today saying that even though Wally just beat Zane, he thinks that Marth is probably Peach's second worst matchup. Okay. I think she's probably third. Uh, now, so here's my follow-up question. Like when she, will uh, the Peach propaganda end? Never. Because I feel like all these Peaches are doing pretty good in these matchups. I think people remember the standout Peach wins, and they don't remember the the, lo the long roads they went to get the through there. The <laughs> very long roads they went to get there. Or when the Falcons beat every single Peach that exists for, you know, tournament after tournament after tournament. It's hard. Absolutely. Every single Peach player says Peach is a bad character. And uh, I'm inclined to agree with them. <laughs> That's just been all over Twitter. Oh, yeah. Oh, just the Peach is, Peach the is not a bad character. There's, there's the tier list of the complainers. The Fox complainers, the Falcon complainers. The Pe Actually, there's not really a lot of Falcon complainers anymore. But Peach is definitely probably the most complainable <laughs> character. Both, on both sides. There are not a lot of people who like playing against Peach. The Marths do, though. So, uh... 
Maybe let's just look at their matchup. Yeah, yeah. Krike's, uh, Krike's doing a lot better in this game, too, so far. Just kind of playing the space out game. We are seeing, again, of course, these turn throws from Lot. Again, pay attention to the direction in which Lot is throwing them, too. If uh, Lot's back is to Krike and throws the turn up, it will actually go a little bit further. And she can do more kind of like extended turn up tosses as well off of uh, like weird double jump and like facing mechanics that happen in melee. Mm -hmm. Like when you get hit or you throw an item, you turn to the other direction. Mm -hmm. Or you turn to the direction you get hit, and then when you throw an item, you turn to the direction that you are throw the item, you throw the item. Okay. Yeah, Law just looking for uh, these like immediate hyper float into aerial to just get these big damage strings. Here go. Clean 36% and keeping Krike in shields, putting up so much pressure and keeping it in the corner. But Krike getting right out with a dash attack. The Nairs, but. Lot keeping this corner pressure just so, so intense. Yeah, I feel like Lot in particular is a player uh, you have a very, very hard time playing a counter hit war against. So if you start going back and forth, hit shield, hit shield, hit shield, Lot's going to win out a lot of those times. He sometimes goes into, I forget what B-Bats called it when he was commentating a set with Lot, but he said sometimes Lot goes into this mode where he will live to like 170%, you just cannot hit him ever. Yep. He did versus me in some. Like, I just couldn't hit he is very, very good at evading moves and understanding where his character can drift. All right, opportunity for Krike here. It's the juggle that continues on. Air dodge down. I think uh, Lod touched down. Yeah, has double jump. So counter hit with the Nair means he finds the stock early. Both playing so patient, trying to maintain control of center stage. Oh my gosh, yeah, the way that Lot integrates, like, uh, confirm on shield into immediate hyper float aerial, whether it's Nair or up air, has been just incredible. I feel like Lot is just so, so fast when it comes to these counter hits. And uh, part of that's because of Z jump, but, you know, there's a lot of really good uh, merit that Lot has to his uh, controls right now, where he's yeah. able to do this advanced peach tech so and seamlessly. Also had such a good defensive game. Like, we, we just said, like, a minute ago, he will sometimes go to really high percents and not die. He turns to 202. And he can just keep tacking on damage with these sub with up airs and counter hit nairs and turn ups. And you get the kill, but you're at 85 off stage. Yeah, yeah, for as much as we've been uh, kind of discussing what Lod's doing in this matchup, Krike's keeping this rather even so far. This is probably going to be a stock. Up. Oh my god! <laughs> Quadruple turn up into a death. Come on and slam. That was <laughs> so much balling right there. Okay. All right, gets the. Or through B grabs, tries to get a tech chase, doesn't get anything super heavily started, and actually just drifts in, reads the roll away. Amazing stuff on Lod's part. Just understanding of neutral of what Krike's gonna do, catching on to these patterns. Yeah, Lod is just stuffing out every option right now. Even the turnips are stuffing gotcha. out his own turnips. Damn, that'll do it. That's bars. Okay, 2 0 for Lod in winner's quarters right now, looking super solid. Goes and right again, back to projected path for this bracket, I believe, had Lod playing against, um, is it Zane, if I wasn't mistaken? It but now Zane's in Mango. losers. So Lod was projected to lose to, I think Lod was originally projected to lose to Mango. Okay. When they were fourth and fifth seed. And then the bracket completely changed. And I think right now it was seeded for Lod to face, face Moki, who is in losers. That's why Krike's here. And then play Zane, who is also in losers. Okay. So he will probably play against Crudo or the winner of Wally and Brad. I think Wally or Wally and Skirt. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Lot is projected to make winner side of winner's finals. Bump side. All right. Well, Craig is uh, projected to get first stock in this game three. He's looking rather okay. The counter pick back to Battlefield, though, I'm not 100% certain about. You know, you have a lot of other options available to you. You can go Yoshi's. You can stadium. You can go, yeah, Stadium. You could even go like FD if you wanted. Um, interested in in opting for the run back on this stage. I think Krike likes the fact that the side platforms make it difficult to Peach for Peach to float at a height where she cannot get tip or F smash sure. but also can, without landing on the platform. And it messes up a lot of Peach's floats. That's my theory as to why. Sure. Okay. Great dash attack follow up. And the Huge. down air crazy combo from Krike is gonna make a stock. That was gross. I can't believe he connected that down air right there. And I thought it, I thought the low was going to stock there. Craig is very good at the Peach match, playing against uh, Polish very, very regularly. So I'm not surprised. And Polish, who DQ'd from singles because of uh, waking up late, I'm not very surprised that uh, Craig would probably ask for like practice or tips or anything like that before this happened. Sure. So, got the punish game. 
Yeah, Krika maintaining this lead right now. We'll see if Lod can bring this back. Turn of throw just gets a bit of damage, but Krike is making it hurt a lot worse. Lod's turn now. Side nice. Side B in there. And now Krike starting to build up a pretty good lead. Okay, has to float. Players. Gets back to stage, but keeping on this corner pressure. Still off stage. Might be up three stocks to one soon. We'll see. Weak hit up air. Another one is not going to be enough to do it. Needs a couple more hits before that kills off the top. And Peach having a little bit of a difficult time landing. Doesn't have amazing falling options. Has to air or wave it. Like air dodge back to stage. Like with a wave dodge input. Tipper forward air not going to be enough to do off the top either. And a weak hit up air as well. This next one might kill, but goes Peach for back is air a very instead. heavy character. That's there that, it is. That's going to kill. 195, and now Craig with a very sizable lead. Three stocks to one. Nice. Yeah, that's just float all the way back with that up air again. Percentage was a little bit soft to find the kill, but Law just has so much awareness, even when he's down two stocks. And that dash that follow-up, <laughs> so small, getting 51%. This is looking like Craig's game, yeah. And it might be. Yeah, he went for two. All right. <laughs> okay. I, just, okay. I thought he would save Law, but okay. Craig? <laughs> On the board. Some would say Crikey. Crikey. That was a good game. Crikey. I'm sorry. I'll go. He was a Phantom. <laughs> Do you think they called him Crike or Crikey there? I, that had to have been a catchphrase, totally. right? Totally. Totally. I thought right. it was, oh, just kind of stitching through it. All right, going to Dreamland. Very conventional counter pick. Uh, very, very difficult for Peach to die on the stage. The platform is making it difficult to get a forward smash tipper as well. So. Makes sense, but Craig with a crazy follow-up off that dash attack into the dare, into the dare. What a crazy stock. Okay. Yeah, Craig's looking like he's built back this momentum in spades for sure. So, I mean, again, it, it, it leads me to the question, why didn't he counterpick stage earlier? Because he's doing really good on Lod's counterpick. No, and goes for the charge up smash. There was a whole Twitter thread about why Peach would like to go for the uh, charge up smash as an edge guard there. I don't remember any of it, but I saw that you're supposed to do <laughs> but it But it's there. out there. It is out there. It exists. It's apparently the most efficient way to get kills on Marth after doing an up B. But anyway. All right, back to neutral we go. Law just looking for some type of uh, sub float into Ariel to get the action going. But, but Craig, Craig, these neutral airs not letting him get anything started. Ooh, a bit of an edge cancel off of the shield breaker from Craig means uh, Lod gets a down smash, but we return to neutral yet again. Look at this platform movement on Craig's part. So precise. Just evading these turnups using the platform movement and the nares to cut through the turnups and try to get hit on the peach. That what? was not. Okay. <laughs> I like it. A little cheeky. Respectable. Power shield on the turnup, but Lod just eating away at all this lead and all of a sudden it's kind of looking oh actually it's I, a I'm up interested in the the choice for high float there I feel like Lod could have just grabbed ledge and called it a day this is the nair and now we're cranking the corner once more yeah so this is this is what I said from game one right Lod in this matchup likes to pull turnips and force jumps out of the marth Krike's response now has just been I'm going to crouch and I'm going to look to power shield when you throw these in neutral also, just like running up and grabbing on the Peach's shield, or running up and doing a down smash, mm -hmm. trying to catch a spot dodge. With this neutral being placed so, so much, much pressure. pressure that Law's putting on Krike, and Krike now at 5%. We'll see how much more Law can build before losing it. I mean, he's at 190 right now, stock 3, but it is Dreamland. He can live a little while, yeah. as long as he can hit by like an up tilt or a side B. Crike with just all the respect in the world, too. Even with Lot at 203, he does not want to force the issue. Exactly, because you know Lot, if he gets one hit, he'll stack on a lot of damage. And at 229%, he is still living. He will not die. 238 is what it takes to kill Peach off the side with a forwarder. Okay, adjustments have been made right now. Krike with the grab, can't get it off the spot dodge. Dot eyes here, power shield again. See, this is what I'm saying. So forces jump, but not advancing in. So Lod just doesn't really have a clear path of moving forward or advancing in onto Krike. So it gives Krike a lot of room to kind of like wall out and play this game that he's been playing. That's one of the difficult parts of uh, the Peach Marth matchup is that if you don't have the turn up to be able to make Marth move away or throw out the aerial event like prematurely, 
He can just wall you out forever. Catching the landing with an up air. And Krike once again has built up this lead, but lot firing right back. Right down, throw into dash attack. These not going to get too much. doing so much for Krike. Like, even though he's not getting like, a lot off the dash attacks, the fact that he's landing so many of them, it's been like a really common neutral opener or combo like extender. And it's like very interesting to see because you don't really see dash attack used this way in a lot of other matchups. Yeah, Krike looking for the up, air, up tilt rather as well. Kills soon. Let's see. Ooh, Lod with the read on the jump from a tournament winner, but not going to get too much more than that. We're back to the turn-up game. And that up to will kill. Krike at 115%. Could this be Krike's? Just This just might be Krike's run, run yeah. Cinderella run. I mean, not to discredit what's already been done, but like beating Lod 2 in addition to Moki in one tournament. Yeah, it starts with this game, though. He's going to have to find it. Big opportunity here. 35% oh, extends with the dash huge. attack. Oh, but gives it up. Now he's in the corner, and Lot is going to take so much off of this, getting 34% and keeping Krike in the air. Playing so patiently, holding center stage. A little oh. preemptive with a down smash, and it'll be once again Lot with the lead. Yeah, a bit over aggressive from Krike right now. Nair is going to promote the edge guard, but Peach Float still on the table right here. Ugh, so much pressure on this right platform. Oh, Tipper! Oh, oh, Tipper F smash! He's going to live. Floating safely above the stage. Can't Tipper F smash on the side platform there, though, and a back air will send off stage. So much patience again. Krike does not want to get caught slipping with these turn up throws here. Fireballs from Lod. Just traded hit. Benefits Lod here in its edge guard position on the ledge. How does Marth get back? This is the forward smash, and this could be crucial. Looking for the down throw on the turn up there, but Krike is just fighting his way back towards He's center. Jump reading with the neutral air is so smart. Catching Lod's full hop. A trade on the dash attack. Well, they're at 140%. Oh, doesn't get the reverse hit. Border will not kill, you need a little bit more, actually a lot more, but... <laughs> Next hit! Next That's hit! It. Krike, game five with Bond! Krike might place higher at this than at Phantom! Insane comeback right there, looked like anybody's game at high percent, but a bit of flubs on both ends here from the edge guarding side. Lot poised, but it's game five, run back to Dreamland. Run back to Dreamland. What are the adjustments here? I think just... Being weary of where Krike is throwing out these aerials after these short hops. Because Krike has been doing a lot of short hop aerial near, short hop aerial fair, and well, it is very hard for Peach to deal with it. But it's been just doing so much. You build up the percent as Krike, and then you start at the mid percent going for like the fair into the dash attack or the nair into the back um, attack. Okay, yeah, it doesn't, doesn't even want it. it. Doesn't yeah. even want it. Our shield on Lod's part did not get hit by anything else, and there's the dash attack we were talking about before. It's a punish diff. They're punish both playing diff. neutral, but the Marth is hitting harder. Okay, playing this kind of vertical positioning right now. Lod breaks it out with the down smash. Edgeguard position as well. Uh, what? That the... might have been a misinput. I'm not Maybe. sure. I think so. It was facing the wrong way too. So. Misinput. And the reverse hit of the upbeat will send Lod flying, but not enough to kill because this is Dreamland. Waits yeah. out the air dodge with that fair, beautiful stuff. Yeah, everything Krike has been doing so far has been so good. Again, just waiting kind of like a half step for a lot of things that you would normally see uh, be kind of no-brainers. That that wasn't oh, the best, but... no. I mean, you were still at pretty high percent. It's not the worst thing in the world. The double spot dodge... Nice! Waits out the spot dodge as well. You just stood in front of the shield, didn't do a grab. Got so much pressure. And also in Krike's position, like, you definitely just be Loki as well, but it's like, you have the added idea that this could be a top eight. Right. Like, it's just in the back of your mind while you're on the big stage. Okay, I like these mix-ups from Lod now. He's introducing kind of item drops into uh, cross-up aerials, which have been very, very good. Just needs to find a stock off of it. And it's kind of hard to do so if Lod's evading all your moves. Drifting at safe distances, you have to do hard reads like that to get anything started. Goes for the wildest, what was it, back throw up air? That was definitely loud, because it looked like it almost hit. 
so close right now. Yeah, Crike finds the trade that he needs. But at 110%, three stocks to three. It's looking like Lon is poised to keep it up. Top platform, kind of a precarious situation for Lod. Finds his way down with the back air, huge. But now Lod's the one that can't really find the stock quite yet. Yeah. Yeah. So in these turnups, the amazing run up grab, great call on the shield. Now can he get the right. guard? He will. Set up the mouse trap. Lod gets there, three stocks to two. Seventy three percent to zero. And it's a little bit deceptive, too, because we've seen the other stocks. Sometimes it takes up a lot, a lot up to like 200% to kill. Right. So this is not like a done deal quite yet, but without a jump, it might be. Lot safely makes it back to stage with the air dodge. Okay, the, the win from Wispy actually almost enabled Lot to find that down smash, but Krike still playing so, so clean at 0%. Lot looking for the opening right now. Item drop the again, that's the item. Opening? That was crazy. It's 27% goes back to control. And that up tilt will kill gets the tipper. And now we are two stocks to two. Game five. Four minutes and 30 on the clock. Just throwing these fireballs out. You said earlier. Time, timer is certainly not an option here, right? <laughs> Unless? Unless. No, no, it can't be. It can't be. I saw an almost timeout earlier today, so I think it's possible. No fucks to shoot. I went to uh, five seconds left game three. <laughs> Jeez. Wasn't streaming though. Mail history. Anyway. All right. Lod finds his way down with the Nair, but just floating menacingly above Crike. Mm, and even gave him a raw F smash. Covering Lot's jump and keeping Lot in the air. It's so hard for Peach to land. Just building up more and more percent, but a falling Nair will reverse the situation. Peach just so slow, can't get any follow up against Crike. Has to play out neutral yet again. Landing on the right platform kind of messes up the movement. I think was anticipating to float immediate and got shield out. Just tosses the turn up in the face. Crike controlling center stage and falling back from level reversal. Every hit is so crucial right now. Power shield grab. Next hit from either side potentially kills here. Nair not gonna do it quite yet. Edgar situation with these turnups. Really smart <gasps> in the tech. Insane. Oh, Lot finds kill. it. We're on last stock here for Krike on his winner's bracket. Just knitting in the corner, getting these turnups, and just gets up tilted and dies. That was kind of meant to come back. Like after everything, just like just run up and up tilting. But we have a last stock game up situation. Okay, yeah, Craig looking for that up tilt, wow, but they just the cannot find after it. After the forward, it was so crazy. <laughs> the weight as well, huge damage. Smash. Big jab, he got jump. That's, that's just it. Craig's done. Wow. Lod takes it away. The Lod. dream of the reverse 3 0 is dead. Given the hog, that was a well thought set. Craig, although that was a loss, has proven himself in more ways than one today. That This is a player who we will be seeing. Make it far in a lot of majors. Yeah, and he's not done yet. They oh, still yeah. have a lot of melee left to be played Absolutely. in the loser side bracket here. So mm -hmm. keep an eye out for Craig. I want to say, you know, between Phantom and this, this is a uh, breakout for them for sure. Absolutely. You know, actually, Craig has done pretty well at events in the past. Uh, notably, I want to say at Big House 9, beat Frenzy and Winners, and then kind of had a quiet couple of years or so. Made a little resurgence going to the MDVA locals, but. Mm -hmm. This string of tournaments, it's good for Craig. Yeah, absolutely. Really, really, really good stuff. Definitely uh, to watch out for. I am seeing a few folks by the setup, right, so I think we have another setup? one here. So that last... <gasps> JJM, yes! you're we excited for this. We got JJM. And also, Mateo is one of my good friends, too. I'm very happy to see them both play. And um, I don't want to call it too early, but uh, this is probably going to be Mateo. I mean, JJM plays Peach and Ices. Okay. Both very skilled. And Mateo plays 